All right, so Rick's Mile of Morning Show, 28 before the top of the hour. What up, Crack? What up, Rick? Here's what's going on in the world of hip hop, man. I like a good comeback, man. I just wish people would hear the comeback when the comeback happens. Right. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. Aid and abet and assist. Uh uh-uh. uh. So, Bow Wow, you know, he's been kind of quiet in the musical front for a minute, and he uh, just clapped back with a new freestyle, going at, uh, you know, the, the ghost of Thoughts past, present, and future. <laughs> I can't what? even tell you the name of the song, but you'll just have to Google it. It's curses all across it. But um, here's a little sample. And now that you ain't with me, honestly, you looking bummy now. I'm ass ass, I caught up with you because your look lumpy now. Your ass all saggy, Damn. ass all back. Damn. Throwing shots on Twitter, but your ass is scared to act me for you. DM my IG model, make sure you sure. I swear to God, oh. they the main girls that's so insecure. Uh-uh, I never chase a bra. Always chase a check. When they done with your black ass, they move on to the next. Oh. Yeah, Bow Wow. Oh, my God. Not mad at you, kid. Not oh, mad at you. Oh, he got back at him on that one, bro. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Like, I mean, the whole joint's pretty steady. Uh, pretty steady. What you think, Brad? Oh, it's nice. It's absolutely nice. He got quite a few in the bag. He got some really nice songs, for real. Yeah, man. Y'all need yeah, to he let, dope. Y'all need to let Bow Wow be great again. Let that go. Speaking of great, it's a great day for new music. There's a lot of heat dropping today. You know, we touched a couple joints this morning off to the DJ Khaled album, man. Uh, Father of Assad. Uh, you know, you got Cardi B on there, Meek Mill, 21 Savage, Chris Brown. SZA got a really dope record on there where she rocking over to Miss Jackson beat. And it's dope. You know, and like, once again, I hate for people to be oppressed in their like personal life in order to create great artistry. <laughs> but I'm going to need somebody to like treat SZA bad once a week just so she can just keep coming back with these just bangers. Like, you know. They- that is not good, Crack. Come on, man. Like, Mary J. Blige's been happy for a long time, and it's been a long time since we got <laughs> a What's the 411 or My Life. No, because after the thing happened with Kim, do you right? She did come out with some good stuff. But, you know, in Sis's defense, you know, when it, that song, The Weeknd, talking about rotating, she mm-hmm. sound real happy. Yeah, but because she's uh, settled in her place in life. Sometimes you got to understand that you will never be Jordan, never even Pippin. Uh, you may be Danny Ains. So you some- saying she's a side chick? Uh, that's what the whole song is about. It's like, you know what? I'll be the weekend person. Right. You know, like oh, sometimes wow. like certain jobs, like, you know, you got people you only see on the weekends because, right. you know, it's a part-time job. Right. You know, <laughs> it, it takes everybody to make the world and sometimes relationships go around. Right. So shout out to you, SZA, for knowing, you know. Your place. Where you fit in. <laughs> Tyler, the creator, has a brand new album out today called Igor. And Megan Thee Stallion has a brand new album out called Fever. Uh, if you like a hybrid of R&B and hip-hop, you might want to pull up on Cy the Kid. He got a brand new project out called After the Heartbreak. Very solid. Very solid. As uh, far as new movies dropping this week, you got uh, John Wick 3. Halle Berry's in that. Have you seen the? Fr- have you seen any of the John Wicks, Rick? No. Uh-uh. Not at all. Bro, Keanu Reeves with a gun. So you need to know. So you need to know. He does well when he <laughs> has a gun. Like, I mean, if you like Matrix... Imagine if you took away all the weirdness of Matrix and just be like, hey, here's your gun. Go kill. John right. Wick, one, two, and now three. That's out now. You also got the uh, relationship movie, The Sun is Also a Star, starring Yara Shahidi. You know him from Blackish and Grownish, and you got Charles Melton in that from Riverdale. Uh, it's supposed to be really dope, so be sure you pull up on that. And if you like dogs and talking dogs, uh, go check out A Dog's Journey. Dennis Quaid's in that. Oh, yeah, it looks really good. It looks like a great family movie. If you want something to do with the family and the kids this weekend, it looks really cute. You have a really good heart, Eva. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somebody's mama. You better leave me alone. I'm going to take my kids to go see them. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then don't forget to tell them about Game of Thrones finale is on Sunday. Yeah, so the Game of Thrones finale is happening this Sunday on HBO. Finale already? Yeah, only eight episodes, a buck and a half a piece. And And y'all have not been satisfied. Mm. No, it was six episodes. They didn't even give us eight. I'm happy to announce that this Sunday's finale episode will be the first (laughs) episode of Game of Thrones that I've ever watched. I'm weird like that. I watch the finale and then I go back all the way through the show. But can I tell him why? Mind. Rick, you want to know why it's going to be the first episode he watches? Why? Because uh, Beyonce and I have decided to elect uh, Crack's house as the house that we watch the finale because he has a theater type situation. So we're all going to Crack's house on Sunday and watching the finale. Cool. I think you just got me robbed. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> got all us in our feelings. So we never no, been he got invited. a projector. We're going to okay. get that thing outside. Up, Rick. What you say, Rick? We ain't never been invited, <laughs> never. right? Never. I, Rick, you coming. I'm coming. No. Hold up. 
Pull up. Well, damn sure. I'm going fr- to air fry some wings. No. Crank, I'm serious. It's going down. Crank, Pull up. I ain't coming because I wouldn't. No, no, I know, I, know, no. I know Crank would have had a oh, Crank. Crank be ripping and running. No, it's not like you I know. You can't it's ever not, catch him at no. home. He don't be there himself. But, mm-hmm. but see, the thing is, is that we weren't invited either. We told Crank that we was going to come <laughs> to his house. Him? And then we asked him if he was going to be home or not because he had nothing to do with these plans. Ricky, they squatted. 